welcome to the show. Now, regular viewers of my content will know that I am rather a fan of the the good old Australian V8 supercars. It is by far and away one of my favourite racing series. And while it is a shame that we do not have the current generation of cars, we do have some to to play around with. We can go to, of course, the old uh, Falcon versus Commodore, uh, well, versus Nissan as well, because we do have the Nissan. So we decided to set up uh, a race for these vehicles and also ask a little bit of a question. What would happen if the V8 supercars would go race at Road America? You see, they have done some races outside of Australia. They went to Yas Marina, they went to Kota uh, for a little bit, but Road America was never somewhere they went, but it would be a track that would work quite well for these cars, or so we thought. So we set off to do some qualifying. Uh, the early pace, well, that would be set by Brazen, driving a Nissan dressed up like a Volvo. <laughs> Surprisingly, does well. I do miss the Volvo. The Volvo will forever be one of my favourite ever uh, race cars, really, the Volvo V8 supercar. Uh, sadly, we do not have that in Forza, but Brazen has done their very best effort to... <laughs> to make a Nissan look like a Volvo. Uh, and while this was the early pace to beat, it would only end up third on the grid for Brazen. Uh, meanwhile, I would be driving forward, I'd be driving the bottle car, and astonishingly, I would qualify in fourth. Uh, I don't tend to qualify particularly well, but, um, and I don't know this track particularly well, however, all worked out surprisingly well, helped by the fact that these are difficult cars to drive, and some faster drivers made a couple of errors, made some dirty laps and so on as they were going through. Um, yeah, very easy to slide about, very easy to get in trouble with these cars. Everybody was struggling a little bit uh, with the vehicles. You only got five laps, four flying laps, in which to try and set your, your qualifying time. So, yeah, mistakes were easily made. Uh, second place on the grid, that would go the way of a Falcon as well. This time, uh, well, this one being driven by Liam. It was close, but in the end, Liam could not quite uh, overhaul the time of Impega. Perhaps no big surprise uh, with the top three in this one, but it would be uh, a Ford that would sit on pole. And in fact, Impega and Liam were about half a second clear of the of the rest of the pack so it was a very very good performance uh, from the pair of them there to uh, to stick their cars on the front as far as the commodores well the highest placed of those would be in fifth uh, that one would be driven by stevie um it was it was a very competitive from sort of fourth down to i think it's about 12th place was covered by around five or half a second to seven tenths of it it was very very close a very very close qualifying session which is what you want which meant going into the race should be very very interesting indeed so here we go the cars are all on the grid they are off it's a bad bad start for the volvo of brazen that has really not got off the line whatsoever liam with a great launch is going to head the field in towards turn number one here bottle car off the line nicely now the top three were on soft tires fourth fifth sixth on medium tires uh, through this and uh, there's a smattering of different ideas further back as well the tires are not going to last very long around this circuit you're going to have to be careful on the tire strategy and all this brazen has absolutely tumbled down the field. It's a disastrous start for that pretend Volvo. Uh, it just did not want to get off the line. These things are difficult. They are difficult cars to get started. Equally being a pretty poor start for Stevie as well. Uh, was the highest qualifying uh, Holden in all of this as we run down towards its three wide. Brazen's getting brave around the outside. I mean, it's doable around here. In fact, Brazen might have got this one. Not quite. There's a big, big dive for one of the Holdens on the inside. They pull it up in time. Everybody skates through the next corner. A little bit of grass uh, on the runoff area there, but uh, no major problems. Danger Man is to the inside with the Commodore trying to find a way past Brazen. There's a little bit of leaning between the pair of them, but Danger Man has come out of that one uh, on top through all of that. Further up, we have got the two Nissans. So these two were starting on soft tyres uh, in this, so they should, well, they're hopefully going to try and make their way through the pack. Try and make the most of the soft tyres when you can. It's difficult. You start further back, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to waste your soft tyres stuck battling traffic. But if you get it right, you can be able, you know, you can make a good, a good bit of time through here. Uh, and it is, yeah, the two ultimates following one another. The bottle of car has just fallen away from the leaders to be expected. Again, Impega, Liam, both on the soft tyres. They're going to they're gonna have some relatively clean air. Uh, they're <laughs> going to not be stuck in the huge amount of traffic. Uh, there's already maybe a pass, maybe a little bit of a look uh, up ahead. Here we are with Grumples having a go to the inside of Ollie. There's a bit of a bump on the shell car. Get away with it. 
The Ford doesn't get fired out wide. Ollie holds on for the moment. Now it's Longbow's turn to have a look. Can't quite do it. Uh, through here. It's maybe a bit of an overtaking opportunity into the final corner. Uh, the Shell car's having a dive. Not quite. Not quite close enough. Through here, the Bottler car's gone very, very wide and a bit sideways in that one. Now Ollie's going to go and have a look to the inside. Uh, can't quite do it. It's a drag race down towards the start finish line. The Jack Daniels car is there. It's got a good run. Liam's coming under huge pressure up at the front as well. It's going to be three wide towards the first corner. Not sure that's a good idea, but never mind. Grumples is going to send it. Remember, Grumples on soft tyres. Longbow on soft tyres with the second of the Nissans. And Grumples gets past both of them. Gets everybody, in fact, into turn one. A little bit wide on the exit. Uh, but has made it stick. Zombies fighting back immediately through the next corner here. Now it's Longbow's turn to the inside. Again, soft tyres on these Nissans. Uh, Longbow's going to look. It sits two by two, and I think the bottle of cars got shuffled out in all of that one. In fact, Longbow, with a really, really good run through that section, is now going to try and push the other Nissan all the way down the straight here. Slipstream powerful at this track. You know, very, very long straights around here. Uh, the bottle of car's coming back, not quite. Ollie's on the outside now, as there's a lot of Nissans in this little group here. Oh, the shell car's out wide. That zombie in a spot of bother through there. Longbow's up the inside. Now the <laughs> White Falcon's going to have a look to the inside as well, and uh, maybe recover some of those lost places in all of this. And indeed, uh, the bottle of car has come out of all of that one in a surprisingly, surprisingly all right position. Uh, through there, absolutely manic through the <laughs> midsection. I mean, that is the two Nissans up in third and fourth, but they were on the soft tyres. They need to make the most of these soft tyres. They are going to start hurting very, very soon. Uh, up at the front, uh, Impega is leading the way. It is very close between the pair of them. As you said, Slipstream is powerful around this circuit. Uh, Liam is going to have a good shot. If you can if you can get through the kink nicely, and it looks like Liam has got through there very, very well indeed, you stand an opportunity for a big dive into the next braking zone. And Impega knows it. Impega moves the car across. He's going to cover that inside. Not as much as I thought they were going to, actually. Uh, it looked like initially they were. Didn't, didn't quite. Liam not quite close enough. Big slide from Impega. These are slippery cars. They move around an awful, awful lot. Um, you know, trying to put the power down. There's a huge chunk of power in these cars, and they do they do move about uh, a fair, fair bit. Now, will Impega be under threat down towards the first corner? It is quite possible here. Liam had a hell of a run off of that final turn. Liam is going to get to the inside here. It is a drag race down towards the line. Of course, once you pulled out of that draft, though, you then don't really get the advantage uh, whatsoever. The fall's going to go side by side into this first quarter. Good opportunity for Liam if he can be brave enough under brakes. And it looks like Liam will once again take the lead of the race as long as they do not want to ride on the exit. And Peg is again going <laughs> to try and bite back into this again immediately. Immediately to the inside. Very narrow line through there. Cannot quite cannot quite get the pass done uh, through that section. The battle for fifth rages on between the fours. In fact, this is a whole big group of cars. Uh, Longbow's moved themselves up into uh, third place through all of this. We know they're going to have to be pitting soon uh, with the soft tyres. They're going to have to stop because uh, the tyres are going to start start going off. They're going to start losing time. Zombie now with a good opportunity using that slipstream to the inside. Not quite. Not quite able to get uh, far enough alongside. Not quite able to get past. I think Gliska also ran a little bit wide uh, in the background trying to find a way past uh, Danger Man in all of this. Uh, I do believe Gliska might actually be on soft tyres as well here uh, at the start. Has got to the... Uh, is still fighting away with Ollie here. We'll get to the inside of the Nissan. Cannot quite do it. Uh, back through that one. Um, we have got... Uh, apologies, I think that is... It, sorry, it is Gliska uh, with the Autobahn car. Uh, it is Danger Man further back fighting away with uh, with Ollie. Uh, yeah, Gliska <laughs> is, is on the soft tyres. You can see how quickly they've closed up here to the battle ahead with the two Fords having a look. Can't do it. Uh, the Pertec car of Blakey has come to join this battle as well. Because the more you fight like this, you are going to lose a heap of time. And Gliska got stuck behind the Fords. Now Ollie's going to have a look. Gliska ran the outside of the King. That's a wheel on the grass. Just about got away with it. Just, just about got away with that one. And Zombie's now going to have a look to the inside once again here. Uh, <laughs> it will be maybe a pass this time around. Uh, no, can't quite pull it up in time. The shell car out a little bit too wide. Uh, there's three wide in the background. Danger Man's made the most of everything there as well. Profited jump up into a seventh place here. Uh, <laughs> absolute madness in this battle for fifth. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of slowing everyone down a little bit here. It, it's absolutely nose to tail. Oh, there's contact. The shell car very, very sideways. Uh, there is one car. There's Nissan almost in the pit lane. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> Holly did not want to go in the pits. Uh, the Pertec car has pitted, the first pitter. So Blakey has jumped into the pits. Could well be, you know, significant. Going to get out of this, uh, out of this chaos. Uh, we'll have a clean run around the circuit here, uh, which is definitely helpful, but your tyres are going to be very poorly by the end of all of this. It looks like there is still a tussle going on. Yep, there is still a tussle going on over third place. Chris has also pitted, actually, as well, with the soft tyres. Uh, they're going to have clean air, but they're going to have to ask a lot of the medium tyres uh, to go. The soft runners really want to get to the end of lap four, uh, ideally, but they are going to start hurting at this point. Uh, Longbow's turn now to have a look to the inside of the Jack Daniels car, uh, while there is possibly a change for the lead as well. Longbow's going to move up into third place and Pega is once again <laughs> Liam pulled out a little bit of a gap but it has immediately gone away here in Pega to the inside <laughs> leaning and leaning <laughs> the tires are gone the tires are struggling on these cars now uh, they know they know it's going to be uh, a difficult one uh, through all of this and Pega not quite found a way past but I mean they've got a bit of a gap here Liam and Pega are about four seconds back to Grumples and Longbow and it's four seconds back from them uh, towards the rest of well medium runners essentially in that in that mid pack the battling not necessarily helps too much for uh, for some of these, but uh, there we go. Pega still not quite found a way past in all of this. I'm going to hazard a guess. The mid-pack is still going absolutely nuts and, well, not quite as crazy. Well, this is going to be starting to struggle now, actually. The soft tyres are going to have gone off on that car and it is going to, yeah, be be hurting. It's going to be wanting to uh, find its way into a pit stop. In fact, the group has spread out a little bit more. Glissa might be in trouble at the end of the straight here. Uh, I don't know if Ollie's going to be close enough. Depends on how much speed and how well under brakes that uh, Nissan is going to be as we head into the next quarter. It's closing, but it can't quite do it through here. Now, we will be expecting to see the leaders in this lap. We've seen them struggling for tyres here, uh, so we'd expect them both to be diving in. And Pega definitely is. Liam is not. Liam is carrying on. That is a brave shout. That is a very, very brave shout. And Pega is in. I will presume Longbow and Liam are going to jump into the pits. Liam is carrying on. Now, this will mean Liam is going to have better tyres at the end of the race. Grumples is in as well, as we would expect. Yeah, Longbow, Grumples, all in the pits. Liam is going to have... Very, very poor tyres by the end of this lap. Going to lose some time now, but might be able to make that time back up once again. So that promotes, well, the medium runners. It'll put, well, Liam Liam to the front, but we know they're going to lose a heap of time. The battle for second now uh, <laughs> rages on. Bono Car versus Danger Man uh, is going to uh, to rumble forward, uh, while the rest of the field are going to filter back out uh, into traffic. I mean, they've got to hope they don't get caught up in too much traffic, although with fresh tyres, they're going to be very, very very quick indeed and it's danger man who is lining up a pass once more big slipstream down here danger man is going to make a move to the inside <laughs> it's a squeeze as much as possible to that inside line can't do it the ford uh, further back the shelby power car a little bit too far back to get involved with this but all it takes is a couple of quarters of fighting and uh, they will you know relatively quickly catch back up danger man a little wide on the exit that's going to leave the door open for the next quarter, and sure enough, Bottle of Car straight back past. You can see that, that gap just immediately gone. It's a 10 second gap to, to Liam. It's going to be coming down a bit, though, throughout the course of this lap. Danger Man around the outside. Very, very brave pass. Very good pass in that one. Uh, here comes the Bottle of Car. Going to have a look to the inside. No, can't quite do it down there. Ollie's going to come join this group. Stevie had a poor start, got caught up with Brazen. Uh, well, not really. Brazen not really getting off the line, the stalling. Uh, pretend Volvo uh, has dropped Stevie back, but is now rejoining this group. The fighting here is so intense that uh, <laughs> from a poor start, it is not completely impossible to recover. There's a little bit of a get back from Stevie uh, to Rusky and Shadow and, and Ewan. Uh, they've got a little bit more of a, of a peaceful time here. Uh, Liam is doing a good job, actually. Got to say, the gap is, you can see the gap is coming down here, uh, despite the, the fighting. Uh, but Liam is doing a good job of keeping that car just about on the road. Here comes no, the Falcon, not quite. Had a big, big look to the inside. Couldn't quite do it. Holden lights up the rear tyres on the exit. Uh, there's going to be an opportunity maybe into the final corner here. If not, down into turn one with a big slipstream is definitely on. The, <laughs> the shell cars having to defend as well from a Nissan through here. Uh, we have got uh, everybody neatly now. I doubt anyone, no one's going to be pitting from this group just yet. But look, are a little wide. Uh, oh no, I take it back. Someone is pitting. That's early for a medium tired runner. Uh, that was going to be zombie into the pits. Liam is in the pits as we would expect here. Uh, still madness. Uh, <laughs> it's now This is now the lead battle here. Um, so yeah, 
Zombies gone very early onto softs. That's going to be hurting by the end of the race, but they will have clean air. That's kind of one of the important things in all of this. Uh, while the battle for uh, the lead and possibly the sort of last spots on the podium is going to be intense. Where is Liam going to come out in relation? And is going to be ahead, surely. Liam's lost too much time. Uh, with those dying soft tyres. I think I just saw Impega go past as uh, Liam will filter out onto the track. Is still ahead of Grumples just. Grumples almost got it. In fact, Grumples is going to be quite a danger uh, to Liam at this point while Liam gets the tyres up to temperature and everything. But Liam has come out in second and is going to have a lot of work to be doing. Uh, further up, there is still this huge battle for, <laughs> for the... Well, not quite the effective lead of the race. This is uh, for, for effectively about fourth or fifth. Uh, but Danger Man is determined. Now, all of these medium tyres are going to start hurting at this point. They're not going to be great. They're going to be past their best. Uh, the bottle are really, really going to be having a look. That's going to be very close. Will we see a dive into the next corner? Danger Man covers. There is an attempt from the Falcon. Can it pull up in time? No, it can't. Just asked a little bit too much of the vehicle under brakes. We've got a little bounce off the kerb on the inside. Now Ollie is right there having a look. Stevie's caught up with this group as, well, they fight. As soon as you start fighting like this, Stevie's going to catch. Ollie was almost sideways. The Ford was almost sideways as well. Everyone has run out of grip, pretty much. Uh, Danger Man has, well, in pulled the gap a sort of a little bit. Oh, there's, some, there's a lot of understeer going on. The Nissan is going to be in a very strong place uh, through, well, into this next braking zone down here. Just a little bit of slipstream uh, between the pair of them and it's just not quite going to be. Stevie's buying into this one as well. There's a little bit of a nudge. The Ford is out wide. There's no grip out there. It's very sideways for the Ford. <laughs> Recovers. Oh, it's very sideways in the background as well. I think that was Rusky having a bit of a moment. Everyone's tyres are shot. This lot are all likely to dive into the pits now because uh, no one's got any grip, pretty much. The softs are going to hurt by the end of the race, but a much more sensible lap. No, one stays out. So, Danger Man, Ollie, uh, we're all into the pit. Stevie's going around again, which, ah, that's going to be an interesting, an interesting choice. So Stevie's going to lead for a lap here. He's going to have very, very quick tyres at the end of the race. Incredibly fast tyres at the end of the race. But, will, how much time is going to be lost on this lap? That is the big question here. Uh, now, further back, we have got Liam is still sat in what is effectively second while we go past you can see all of the cars in the pit lane and they're going to leapfrog all of the danger man ollie all of that group and um, however they're on medium tires of course and they're going to be hurting towards the end of the race they could could they be caught i think they might have a big enough lead grumples is still hanging on I just noticed there has been uh, there is a dnf i have a feeling the longbow the longbow ultimate may well have broken down at some point around here that is unfortunate as it was a strong run and was going to be an interesting strategy to see how that one there would play out uh, grumbles is really putting the pressure on liam here actually uh, for what is effectively second place in the in the race here uh, now where things are going to get interesting uh, we have got some medium-tired runners. Here we go, Brazen, for example. <laughs> medium-tired runners now uh, who started on the softs uh, have got some soft-tired cars mixing it with them. Danger Man is here on those brand-new, fresh, soft tires, and Danger Man is going to get to the inside here. Blakey's done a good job, actually, with the Pertec car, although it was an early stop. I'm not sure Blakey's tires are going to last all too long. Danger Man to the inside of the, uh, of the Nissan through there and as they all sort of scrabble around through here it's going to be two by two uh, it's, it's going to be Gliska that's going to make the most of an opportunity uh, through that one of course Ollie Bollock we've all got uh, very very nice grippy uh, soft tyres trying to make our way through traffic here Gliska put a wheel on the dirt down there not what you want to be doing Danger Man done a good job of getting past this the Ford looks to the outside is going to go around the outside of one this and it might even be able to get to the outside of the next that's uh, not an easy pass it's the inside for the carousel as well and brazen has lost a few positions on this lap of course tire strategy playing apart these soft tires are going to hurt towards the end of the race danger man's gone chasing off after blakey up there gliska is going to have to try and defend uh, towards the king brazen's not too far behind in all of this you can see the <laughs> soft tires are just much happier through there this is a big train of cars gliska is going to move across to defend on this one danger man's clear of blakey here ollie's cut across uh, to get themselves ahead of brazen and the ford is going to just about be able to round it up on the outside. Ollie's going to follow as well. The Nissan is going to pass Gliska. Looks like they've got that move 
completed as well. Stevie's in the pits uh, from this. Oh, it's because how very white. <laughs> there might have been a little bit of a hip and shoulder there from Brazen, I think. Uh, there, it looks like Glissick may have got back past. Ollie's looking to the inside, cannot quite do it. Now we have the drag race down the start finish straight. Uh, it's zombie up in front. So Stevie's in the pits, will have good tyres at the end, but he's going to be well out of this, I should imagine. I'm trying to see where where is still. Stevie's not even yet. Stevie's going to have to have some monstrous final laps, uh, or our tyres have got to completely die for uh, Stevie to really be getting involved in this one. Uh, Blakey will probably be in trouble by the end of this next straight. Uh, there's going to be a couple of cars lining up ready for this one. Uh, Grumples has fallen back possibly from the leaders uh, not quite sure the timing is not showing on grumples here comes the pass maybe on blakey will it be a dive to the inside it's a big big slipstream and you know there's a tire advantage here for the uh, bottle of car it's to the outside blakey defends as you would expect down here uh, will struggle to get the momentum off of the corner oh <laughs> never mind that's also not the line you want to be taking uh, through all of that blakey will continue uh, to defend in this one good news for danger man who has kind of got clear of the uh, the rivals we just not quite got got through the traffic big slides again these cars are very very slidey machines there's no doubt about it uh, not going to be a look just yet uh, there where was grumples uh, we grumples is funnily enough right still on the tail of liam where <laughs> is going to be able to be a, an attempt made for a pass grumples is having a look cannot quite do it uh, through this section uh, it's you might get the toe. You may get the toe all the way down in towards the next corner. Will Grumples have a dive under brakes? Not completely sure. Uh, is not close enough. Cannot quite do it, although Liam's running a little bit wide on the exit. Jack Daniels' car lights up the rear tyres. Liam out wide but can't do it. Liam is some um, 3.9 seconds behind the leader in all of this and has got a little bit wide. Maybe gained a small bit of time on him, Pega. Uh, through this but we know it's, it's going to be the final couple of laps that's where the big differences are going to be made in all of this and grumples is coming into the pits again okay, okay. grumples is thinking that the rest of our tires are going to die i'm gonna i think grumples may have done soft softs in that one and is now changing blakey has now lost out uh, to uh, the next two cars so it is an interesting an interesting thing well further back uh, we have got we have got another little pack of cars. So this is where Stevie has filtered out into uh, here. So we know Stevie's on soft tyres. He's going to have very very good soft tyres in the latter stages of this race. Grumples, Grumples' tyre strategy is entirely relying on our tyres completely giving up in the closing stages. Uh, Rusky is under immense pressure from Shadow. Stevie has got the best tyres of the lot and is going to be looking for a way past but you've got to do it you got to do it cleanly you've got to do it quickly uh, so as to not completely waste your tire advantage essentially uh, <laughs> so we want Stevie's going to want a good run out of here Rusky's going to possibly have to defend from Shadow as we head down towards this next corner Shadow looks closer if anything than Stevie is to this group Shadow going to pull out of the draft all the Holdens fighting together and it's going to be Shadow having a go to the inside you can see the group ahead battling away Shadow will try and pull the car up in time and it is pass on Rusky. Do they want to ride on the exit a little bit? Rusky's going to try and get back underneath and that is the difficulty with getting that pass done at that particular corner. It has proved problematic in the past. Rusky's sideways. Stevie wants to buy into this. Stevie wants to try and find a way past quickly and cleanly as I said earlier. It's going to go cut underneath Shadow for the exit. Still cannot quite get that move completed here. Going to go to the outside. We've seen it done already down here. Not quite. Shadow will cover that one off for the moment. Stevie just not able to find a way past in all of this it is looking pretty hectic up ahead so we know we know zombie is sat in third relatively comfortably but we they, they pitted early they got the track position but they pitted very very early so it's whether danger man can overhaul that gap as zombies tires die now unfortunately it'll have to be voiceover alex at this point because it is here where the replay dies and that is it there is nothing that I can do to make the replay work to show the final lap of the race. Now, this was always a potential problem. Now, I thought I got around this by recording my my screen live when we were racing and figured, well, if the worst, absolute worst comes to worst, I can use that. Unfortunately, that recording is on a hard drive that is also dead. Nothing to do with Forza in that instance, but yeah, one of the hard drives on my old computer. I've had all sorts of computer issues. That hard drive died. That footage is gone. And I have got nothing I can do 
about this. What I can tell you, what happened on the final lap of the race, uh, <laughs> is that Liam uh, was catching in Pega, just ran out of time to do anything. Uh, Liam's sort of conserved tyres uh, were very quick at the end, but could not catch, could not overhaul in Pega. Uh, Zombie's tyres completely died, which meant Danger Man got up to third. Uh, Zombie would just squeak across the line in fourth while me and Ollie were catching. We fought each other quite hard, uh, but Zombie survived. Ollie did beat me in a drag race to the line. Uh, to be the highest placed of the Nissans. Uh, I would end up in sixth. Uh, not quite what I was hoping for, but I did very much enjoy the race. Um, I'm gutted that the footage is dead. Uh, and I appreciate it's a little bit of a shame having to do this as a way of ending it. Uh, I didn't want to completely dump it all because it was really cool. And this is a slightly different way of filming things. And I hope people enjoyed it. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> force of replay being broken. Uh, such a shame. Such a shame. Because it was a really cool race. Um, as a kind of looking back, uh, I mm, struggled to make the medium tyres work on the car. I was quick with the softs, but I just couldn't quite get the mediums to work. I couldn't adjust to the mediums well enough, uh, which cost me a bit too much early on. We had a really good fun battle, though. A little mistake before the pit stop as well kind of dropped me back. And Danger Man got through the traffic quicker than, than me and Ollie did, basically. Um, which kind of scuppered my chances of a podium. Uh, Liam and Impego are in another class of their own. Brazen might have been able to, uh, however, the really poor start uh, dropped them right back into the traffic and just, yeah, struggled uh, to make way. Brazen was actually catching back up at the end as us soft tyre cars were dying. But again, that was the end of the race. Um, but yeah, it was it was really good fun. I hope you enjoyed this and I apologise for the technical, technical difficulties. It's just what we can do. Limitations of Forza replays, unfortunately. Um, but I hope you've liked this format. It may well get tried again at some point, and hopefully with less broken stuff. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.